Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. Make sure y'all subscribe. All right, y'all, I'm just back with my real quick post fight thoughts on um, Sajari Eubanks versus uh, Sarah Morris. Um, this was a good band and weight fight. Uh, as you, as you, uh, if you, if you watched, it was on ESPN Plus Wednesday. As you know, um, Sajari Eubanks, she uh, won a pretty lopsided unanimous decision over Sarah Morris. I think they had it like 30 27 on two cards and one card had it like 30 26 i was like wow man that's uh, that, uh yeah it was pretty uh it was dominant by sajara eubanks but uh sajara man like you know she's definitely been stepping up her game um you know she was definitely uh throwing the better strikes in this fight you know this was pretty much a standing fight for the most part there was a couple takedowns in this one but uh sajara she controlled both you know she controlled the controlled it on her feet she controlled it um on the ground as well and uh, a couple times, almost like she was about to get it finished towards the end of the fight. But uh, just going back and looking at the first round real quick, uh, you know, the first round, um, you know, Sajara, she was able to, man, like she was just able to really like press forward with some hard right hands. You know, she was just like bombing Sarah Morris with a couple of right hands and like the opening seconds. Like they both met in the center of the ring and they were just exchanging. And um Sajara's getting the better, and then after that, she just like lined up two big right hands that rocked uh, uh, Sarah Moore. She had to like kind of take a running step back, and um, then they went. You know, she got she got her head cleared. She went back into the center of the octagon, and um, again, Eubank was just lining that right hand up nice. You know, she uh, set it up a couple more times, and uh, just controlled the pace overall. You know, she was just really controlling the pace. Uh, Sarah Morris looked like she wanted to try to get a takedown in there, but just could never really get anything set in the first round because I, I feel like you know the the strength of the punches was um was really catching her you know it was really catching her from um Sajara Eubank but first round was pretty dominant by Sajara Eubank second round uh Sarah Morris kind of listened to her corner more you know she started throwing more punches um it was more of a competitive round the first few minutes uh she was throwing like ones and twos more and kind of trying to stay on the outside and time Sajara Eubank but again I I, I feel like Sajara Eubank was throwing the more uh efficient shots you know, she started like going straight up the middle with the jab and the right hand coming back with the right and jab. And um, she controlled that well. And um, when we got to the end of the round. Uh, Sarah Morse tried to go in for a clinch and she wound up like getting a little, I think she got off balance and fell. And then she got back up. Sajara capitalized on that. And, you know, she took Sarah Morris down and uh, she finished the round strong. You know, she finished with the takedown and some good grounding pounds. So it was another uh, Sarge round. Uh, last round, Again, it was just a striking clinic. It was very good, efficient, straight punches from Sarge. Uh, she really, she was really busting Sarah Morris up. And um, as she was like landing these shots, she decided to go in for a takedown, got Sarah Morris down. And almost a little bit of a scare there. Sarah Morris had that triangle. It's like a triangle, I think, and um, was trying to get the arm bar on Sarge. But, you know, this was another benefit for having the audience there. You know, she was able, Sarge was able to communicate with her corner. You know, she was like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm comfortable in the position she was in, you know, defending from the arm bar. And um, she was able to, like, shake Sarah Morris off, get off balance, and pull her arm out and get that dominant position on the ground. When she got on uh, Sarah Morris's back, you know, she just started unloading. You could hear some, like, big smacking shots. But Sarah Morris is tough, you know. I think, you know, she handles uh, bantamweight pretty good, and, you know, she's able to take those heavy shots uh, coming from somebody like Sarge, you know. I think Sarge isn't like a very, very hard, hard puncher, but you know, she's a steady, strong puncher. And um, those shots are enough to bust you up, but not really knock you out. And um, that's how she pretty much dominated the fight. You know, she was able to knock Sarah Morris off balance with a lot of these punches and just kind of like sap the energy on the ground with that ground and pound. And yeah, she finished the round strong. Yeah, I almost thought she was about to get the stoppage because like, you know, it was like five seconds left and Sarah Morris was taking heavy shots that you could hear. But um, it was overall strong finish for sarge you know she needed this win in my opinion you know um i i, I couldn't believe she lost a uh, bench coera you know that last fight out you know i felt like she was a little bit better than that but i think she definitely tightened up on some things and um i think bantam weight suits her you know i think flyweight was kind of a, a it was a killer for her to try to make that weight but she's looking stronger i think she just needs to uh you know tighten up on the on on her shots a little bit more and you know try to close the show but her cardio, her cardio and her stamina was uh, definitely uh, in place this one. I think it has for her. I think it has uh, has something to do with her. Uh, what was I saying? Um, it, it really has something to do with her fighting at bandweight. Yeah. 
yeah, but uh, overall, it was a pretty decent fight. You know, good uh, second women women's MMA fight back on Wednesday. And um, shoot, dang, it's Friday right now. So tomorrow we got uh, Claudia Gadelli versus Angela Hill and uh, Courtney Casey's versus uh, Barella. So, um, yeah, we got some more fights coming up. I might come back and do a prediction video for those tonight. But, uh, yeah, man, definitely check out my uh, new new interview up here with uh, Miranda Maverick. You know, she was a real cool, uh, real cool fighter. Uh, you know, she filled me in on, on a lot of stuff on mixed martial arts. Uh, but yeah, very good interview. Make sure you guys check that out. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.